Hi everybody, welcome to my presentation on my favorite birding area of the Eastern Cape, the Eastern Cape Highlands, a part of the Southern Drakensberg and stunning birds to find there, all the high altitude birds and the scenery is spectacular around every corner. Um, if you with people that aren't birders, they will enjoy the scenery. And um, if you're a birder, you'll enjoy both the scenery and the birds. Now, this is the area that um, I'm going to be talking about today. It's far bigger um, than I've shown on the map, but I've only got time to talk about the small area. Now, um, we use Rose's village as the base, and we do day trips from there. But you can stay anywhere. There's accommodation all over that area on farms. Um, Rhodes Village has lots of cottages that you can hire. They're really stunning. Um, Tenor Head Lodge and Spa, it's quite a lovely up marketplace to stay. And Tiffendale Ski Resort is also awesome. Highly recommended. Now, um, I'm going to be talking about the roads, Nordy's Neck, Tenor Head Lodge and Spa and the Tiffendale area. And I will briefly touch on the Barky East area. It is an area um, where we find Southern bald Arbuses and I know a lot of birders um, want to see that bird. So the Barky East area is um, good for that. Look in cultivated lands amongst the hardy dar arbuses, and you, you'll often see them there. And then across to the right, um, the McClear area, which is now called Nangahu. Um, the wattled crane can be seen there quite often, as well as the other two cranes, the blue crane and the gray crowned crane. So um, we won't be talking much about those other areas for now. Um, which are the most sought after birds in that area, most people ask. And I think hands down, the most like number one bird that people wa want to see is the bearded vulture. It is a very iconic vulture. Um, not many of them are, are around. Um, you're most likely to see plenty of Cape vultures when you go there. Um, the, I'd say the number two bird to see there as well is the mountain pipit, which is seen only in summer months. Um, it, it's an altitudinal migrant, so in winter it moves down to warmer areas nearby. Also, the Drakensberg rock jumper is um, also quite sought after, but it's not only found there. Drakensberg siskin. And as I said, wattle crane and um, southern bald ibis um, can be seen lower down in Barkley East and McClear. Now, um, those aren't the only sought after birds. I think everyone likes to see ground woodpeckers and yellow breasted pipits as well. They're very special. Um, Grey winged Franklins, also a good bird to see in that area. And Drakensberg Prinia even though they're seen all the way to East London, they're also um, quite good birds to see. Um, plenty of other special birds as well, which um, many of us don't see every day. Um, Sentinel rock thrushes are seen there in summer months. African rock pipit, you'll often hear them um, calling early in the morning um, from a rock on the way up to Nordy's Neck Pass and also along the pass as well. I've heard them there as well. Fairy flycatchers are um, incredible in that area because there is not so much bush. They tend to be more confiding and walk around out in the open like this one in this picture here. Um, it was um, walking around on rocks near a stream and I've also seen them sit on those small bushes as well. So wonderful opportunity to see them. Striped fluff tails, you should see or hear rather um, 
before you see them in the montane grasslands in that area. And Layard's warbler as well can also be seen there in the more bushy area. Bar <clears throat> Barrett's warblers um, will be seen lower down at the bottom of Nordy's Neck Pass on the way to McClear. And um, in the many like bushy um, lined streams, you'll get them there in the summer months. They are altitudinal migrants, so in winter they'll be in the thick um, coastal bush. Banded martens are also very special. You see them hawking insects over grasslands all over that area. Or on the way up to Nordy's Neck Pass, you see them sitting on the wire fences. Um, also a very special martens. Um, cinnamon breasted buntings and cape buntings are seen on the way up to Nordy's Neck Pass. Now, who doesn't like to see raptors? Um, these are three very special raptors that I've seen up there at Nordy's Neck Pass. Um, the bearded vulture, Cape vulture, there are quite plenty of them. And um, the black harrier, I've seen there as well, hawking over grasslands. I've also seen rock kestrels, jackal buzzards, and rufous-breasted sparrowhawks in the village of Rhodes itself. Now, what is the best time to visit? Um, many people ask that. Now, it all depends on which birds you want to see. If you want to go and see mountain pipits, then you must go in late spring to early autumn, which is late October, I mean, late September to April, like summer months, because they um, altitudinal migrants. Um, the bearded vulture can be seen all year round. Um, we've heard of people seeing them in May, June and July of this year. So maybe winter months are better than summer months because I've often been there in summer and dipped. But there's always luck of the draw there um, with bearded vultures. So what are the ha habitats like in that area? As I said, the scenery is stunning. It's just stunning wherever you look. There are high altitude grasslands on top, montane fanbos and bracken, especially in the Tiffendale to War Trails Road, where this photo was taken. In mountain streams um, with water from the Lesotho Highlands are all over that area and makes that area so special, these small mountain streams, which attract birds as well. And wooded valleys, also the Tiffendale War Trails Road, um, very scenic and good for birding. Now I'm going to be featuring two routes. Um, the first route is the roads, twisty windy route all the way to Nordy's Neck Pass and the nearby Tenerhead Lodge and Spa. Now it's um, 33 kilometers long but I advise you to take to start it very early in the morning, even like just before sunrise. Um, because by the time you get to Nordy's Neck Pass, if you're a bit late, um, it can be very windy up there. So um, we often leave before sunrise and do the route slowly all the way up to the pass. Um, a very short little road to Tenerhead Lodge and Spa, it's about, five k's from Nordy's Neck Pass. Wonderful place to just sit and relax and also bird in the grounds as well. And they welcome birders. Then the second route will be um, 23 k's all the way up to Tiffendale Ski Resort. Both of these routes that I'm featuring are good for high clearance vehicle. You don't have to have a four by four. But um, the Tiffendale route has an extremely short and steep pass, which is cemented, but it's extremely steep with very sharp hairpin bends, and it requires an experienced driver to drive that part of the road. When you get on top to, um, you know, near Tiffendale, it becomes flat, and then it's wonderful, you know, um, the road's not bad. The very bad road is the one from Tiffendale down to War Trails. Stunning scenery and beautiful birding, 
but it's hardcore four by four. Um, I saw on the internet recently, it, it requires experienced four by four drivers, but it's well worth doing if you can. Another really bad road is from Nordy's Neck Pass to McClear. Apparently that is full of rocks and you cannot do it very fast. But the two routes I'm featuring are um, fine for um, high clearance vehicles. Okay, now route one, um, the roads to Nordy's Neck, Antenna Head, Lodge and Spa. Now the first bird most people want to see, as I said, is the bearded vulture. Um, keep your eyes peeled to the skies because those birds suddenly appear from behind a mountain and disappear just as fast. You will be very lucky if you find a sheep carcass, which we happened to find in 2014 when I was there. And these are photos from that um, time. A sheep must have fallen down the mountainside and the Cape vultures had arrived there first and the white-necked ravens. But while we were there, we must have spent three hours just observing and um, three juvenile bearded vultures arrived and they like sat in the wings waiting for their turn. And it was absolutely awesome watching the two bearded vultures squabbling with each other and just um, the whole scene. Um, there's a juvenile in the middle of this top right picture as well. And all these photos have been taken from um, Nordy's Neck Pass. Okay, the next bird is Mountain Pippet. Um, can be seen on the way up to Nordy's Neck Pass where it starts getting flat um, on the sides of the road where the grass is short. Um, in summer months, as I said, they breed up there and in winter you won't find them. And especially um, when they like blend with the African pipids lower down where they migrate to, they look very similar. Now, what is the difference? Very briefly, um, the difference between mountain uh, pipit and African pipit. Now, the first, the most obvious one is the mountain pipit has pink lower mandible. Well, so does the African pipit in winter. Um, but in summer, it has yellow lower mandible. But the way to tell the difference is the African pipit has a yellow gape at all times, winter and summer. So that is one way of um, telling the difference. I heard that hint from you, Chittenden, so um, it's a good reliable source. Mountain pipit has buff outer tail feathers and African pipit has white outer tail feathers. And I won't be going on um, with the rest of the pointers, we don't have time. Now other birds that can be found on the roads to Nordy's Neck Pass and Tenor Head Lodge Road when you start climbing, um, getting to higher altitudes, you'll get Drakensberg rock jumpers um, on the rocky outcrops. And there are plenty of those all the way up, especially when you get higher up. Um, ground woodpeckers um, are not plentiful, but they certainly are there. And I've seen them along the pass as well, halfway down the pass. Sentinel rock thrushes are there. Um, as well in summer months, they move lower down in winter. African rock puppets you will hear often early in the morning, sitting on a rock like this one that I photographed and singing beautifully um, from a, a rock. Actually about three of them came that day and sang. And um, the background photo is the Nordy's Neck Pass itself. Okay, other good birds seen along the roadside going up to Nordy's Neck Pass are Drakensberg siskins. You often see them sitting on the fence, the wire fence, or um, feeding on the roadside in the short grass. Drakensberg prinia in the more sort of lower bushy areas. Grey winged Franklins, you should um, hear before you see them um, in the valleys. And you should see them from the road um, if you look down into the valleys in the grasslands. 
Berry fly catches, as I said earlier, so confiding in that area, um, walk around out in the open. This photo I took of one just sitting out on a small bush on the Tenor Head Lodge Road. And a very special bird as well that many people want to go and see is the yellow breasted pipit. Um, they're also altitudinal migrants, so won't be there in winter, and you won't be able to ID them in any case because they lose their breeding plumage. And then they blend in with other um, pipits. Um, but in summer months, at the bottom of Nordy's Neck Pass, you find this clumpy grass on both sides of the road and on the hillside on the right hand side. And that is um, the preferred habitat. They love that um, clumpy grass. So um, the bottom of Nordy's Neck where it starts flattening out um, is where to look in summer. Okay, as I said, uh, both these routes need high clearance vehicles. Um, and yeah, just um, be careful in winter when they are um, when the when there's ice on the roads, especially on Nordy's Neck Pass. Um, a lot of streams um, like flow down um, onto the sides of the roads, and it overflows onto the road, and it can be extremely slippery. So be careful of that, or when it has rained a lot or when it's snowing or sleeting, um, you need to have your wits about you there. Okay, now route two, the Tiffendale Ski Resort. Um, a well worth visit, even if you with people that are not birders, there are plenty of activities for non-birders, hikes and all sorts of things. Um, in winter, obviously they ski and um, snowboard, but um, plenty of other opportunities, um, all sorts of things. And birding is amazing around those chalets there. You get all the regular birds, um, the, uh, well, the high altitude birds, the um, Drakensberg rock jumper, Siskin, and um, Prinia, Layard's warbler, um, fairy fly catcher. I've had um, African snipe in marshy areas going up to Tiffendale, and they were actually drumming and um, displaying. It was quite awesome. Plenty of other birds as well, which I haven't featured, but uh, those that you find on Nordy's Neck uh, Pass, you'll also find up here. So um, I hope you enjoyed that talk. Um, I couldn't go into too much detail, but um, if you're wanting accommodation, there are two quite handy websites for you to um, find places to stay. Thank you very much. <laughs>